Um, this piece of Matthew was written by this group. We wrote our own show for the festival we performed it in last Saturday as part of the Massachusetts Educational High School Theater Guild semi um, preliminary round festival. We didn't move on, we had a really great day. It's kind of a ball. Um, you might recognize some characters in yourself and identify with a little bit, and I hope you do. If you don't, I hope you just take away a little bit of appreciation for the courage these guys have to come out on stage and rock it, okay?
adrenaline, this hormone, this neurotransmitter, this medication, which made a funny little beeline of liquid energy from the center of my gut to what felt like my outer body. Somewhere between the top of the ride and the first seconds of the drop, I questioned why anyone would do this. Somewhere between the top and the drop, I wondered if this was fear and death or excitement and joy. Studies show that during the extreme conditions of stress, adrenaline kicks off the fight or flight response in mammals, asking the individual to perform amazing tasks of physical exertion and response. I was just sitting there tied into a seat and gripping the lap bar. This chemical rushing through me was increasing the rate of my heart, blood circulating, breathing up, and my pupils dilated to see more and experience more of the moment. And I chose to close my eyes.
two, three, lift. Ow, I can't. It's too heavy. You're so weak. Let's, let's just switch sides. Good idea. Okay. You didn't say one, two, three, lift. It was implied. Ready? One, two, three, lift. I dropped it on my foot. It's not bleeding and it's not too swollen, so that's good. Did you say your feet smell so bad? Normally you would literally shove just them in my face and then I pull your hair to make you stop. Shut up, they aren't that bad. Um, yeah, they are. Maybe you should change your shoes. You've had those for like ever. I like these. I've had them since seventh grade. Yeah, my, my point is that. Let's just take a break. Clearly couch moving isn't your thing. Whatever. I can't believe you're finally out. Me neither, though I didn't really have a choice. I have to because I'm my roommate. What if she stays up all night eating Lord of the Rings? Or she plays trumpet at 8 a.m.? Or what if she cooks fucking food that smells worse than this? Oh. <coughs> Nothing could smell worse than that. And you like trumpets and hearing uh, Lord of the Rings and fun <coughs> foods, and if you don't, you're gonna learn to love them, just like I learned to love living with you. Now that you're going to be living on campus, it's going to be a great experience for you. You'll be fully immersed in your education. Honestly, I'll probably be setting my butt off while everybody else is partying and looking back. Well, I mean, you got to find a balance. I spent my whole semester and a half partying, dodging grades, and look where that got. But don't be afraid to get out there. You'll never know what happens if you look up from a book. I know what's happening to look around. Someone else is looking, and you get looked at too. And then there's a guy. In your way, in your room, leaving his toothbrush. Okay, that's like 10 steps too far, sis. Yeah, but you get distracted. Just get out of your head for us, it won't be that crazy. But it could be. But it won't. But it might be. But it won't. Just keep an eye on your drink, look out for your friends, and call me if you ever need a ride. Okay, I'm not going to get blood drunk. I learned from other mistakes. Hey, that was once. Or maybe twice? Whatever. My point is, if you ever need anything, anything at all, you can call me. Well, I'll start with Friday nights in the libraries, but if the books are peer pressure me and a call, I'll be sure to call. Then, we'll join you. Now, come on, before any of the books can do any of their persuading, we have to get in here with all the other nerds. How's your foot? Fine now, I think. Hey, I'm not a nerd. Um, you literally just said you'd be spending Friday nights in a library studying instead of partying. And if things go your way, you're gonna pass by all the other nerds and become a freaking doctor. So I'll pass by you. So now I'm a nerd now, right this way, doctor. Let's just get this over with. Hold on, I have to tie my shoe. Um, the last bus leaves in 30 minutes, sis. I, we gotta get you moved in here. Okay, fine, but if I trip, it's your fault. I'm not gonna trip. You ready? One, two, three, lift. Ow! When we get hurt, we release endorphins. Science says endorphins brings on happiness, feelings of euphoria, morphine-like chemicals produced by the body that help us diminish pain when we stumble through life and stub a toe. I sat in the bright light of my dorm room that first day, waiting for my pituitary to kick in and send these painkillers to my toe, my ego, my homesickness. I once read that many common events trigger endorphins to be released, eating chocolate and hot chili peppers, smelling vanilla, making music, going for a run. I could imagine my whole single self doing all these at once, a whirlwind, a full body endorphins festival of sorts. Depression! Depression! Elevation! When I say adduction, you say abduction! Adduction! 
status in this discipline. Some of you did very well. And some of you may wish to speak with either the dean or myself to talk about some of your options as we move forward. Nice job, Mary. Thank God. Hey, Sai, you coming? I'll catch up with you guys later. Well, I was hoping I wasn't in the morning group. Oh, me too. Just lucky this time, I guess. Maybe get a tutor or something, study a bit more. Well, did you study? Of course I studied. How can you get a C without seven? But did you know it? You have to know bones, and you have to know fractures, and you have to know the stages of healing. I guess it's not that big of a deal, yeah. There's still a little bit of time. How'd you do? My grade's definitely worth celebration. A couple of us are going to the setup. You should join. I, I, I don't know. I was supposed to go study for my calculus test. Come on. I'm not asking you on a date. Yet. Come on, we can stay on campus. 20 minutes house. I have like... You need to eat, right? I have like 10 minutes tops. 15. 12. 13 and a half. Fine, but I'm going to be studying like the whole time. Fine. But this isn't even a real date. Not even a That's how I was celebrating. To non-social, non-dating experiences. Okay. So where do you want to go? I, I don't know. I, I don't get out on campus that much. I don't think it's a good idea. Hold up. You've been here for two semesters. Yeah. And summer. And summer. I've been looking your way for two semesters. And summer. And that's why you have a C. No, I have a C because I missed review last Monday because I skipped the class. And I don't have what you have. What's that? I don't know. Whatever it is that makes you do more than it, or do you? And you do more than it. And why are you here? I don't know. Maybe someone's doing some parents thing, what they want to me. My mother's a pal. And your dad? Well then. Maki, Spock. He's going to use his uh, album mask to look at And that's what you do for us. <laughs> but what do you want for you? I don't know. Answer that question somewhere else. What if I said yes another time? If you said yes or not. Tomorrow? In a minute. Come on. What are you waiting for? Being struck by love sounds almost violent. The moment where serotonin makes its way into our intestines and brain and floods the space between neurons, coating their, them with washes of, I like you, I like your eyes, I like that one dimple on your left cheek. You can have the same response when you sit in a bright light and meditate, especially falling in love with incandescence and silence. I felt all of those things, the bright light, the stillness, the love dove of my heart. Some psychological studies show that it takes 90 seconds to 4 minutes for serotonin to release the circuit and circulate in the blood. Essentially, the brain and the gut decides if you love someone. So I left that day with him. My gut called the shots. Love struck. Come on, come on. Some lean to look out the window, 
Some start with a little inner prayer, and some think of times and places they miss if they all went wrong. I'm, I'm sure some around me were going over the last words. I was spinning with ideas, and I, what was to become a fathom, unfathomable future. No, 
I think I'm okay. Well, something seems wrong. Is it something with Sai? No, no, Sai's great. He's thinking you want to take me to grad courses in the spring. That's awesome. But then what is it? I think I'm pregnant. <gasps> self-sufficient, developing self and social skills. We are susceptible during this time to learn habits and behaviors, sculpting us to be who we are going to become. Adolescence is a critical turning point because it is the time the reproductive development happens. Our voice changes and our bodies change as we become more sexually aware beings. We begin to separate more from our parents and begin to become more independent. Adulthood is the longest stage and normally lasts from age 18 through old age. While there might be some small psychological or cultural defined stages, adulthood is when we humans being, we human beings are fully grown and must provide entirely for ourselves. This is also a significant time as life cycle is initiated again by the concept and the birth of our own children. At the end of the adult cycle, the body begins to deteriorate and then fails and eventually ends in death. At the end of it all, we may have had different adventures, falling in different love, taking a different path in the woods, but it all begins the same and ends the same. We just took a different ride. Are you ready? 